Hey guys, it's me, Mike. Welcome back to Unbox Warehouse. Now, if you ran into this video, you're probably trying to figure out how to make better footage when you film stuff. And uh, most of you probably already have a gimbal. If you don't, I highly suggest you get one. There's many types of gimbals, but a gimbal is designed to correct the X and Y axis. But there's one more axis that a gimbal doesn't stabilize, and that's the Z axis, up and down. So a lot of times you'll get this little bounce when you walk, um, if you go up and down stairs. So today we're looking at a product that is supposed to fix that. We're gonna see if it works. Let's get into it. And here it is. This monstrosity right here is the DH04 by Digital Photo. Um, they sell this stuff on B&H, on Amazon. I'll put a link below. But uh, your gimbal, which attaches inside of here, only this portion here is the DH04, um, is designed to kind of correct for this up and down movement. Um, right now I don't have a camera on here, so it's a little light, so it looks extra bouncy. But we're going to test this thing out and see if it fixes the Z axis or maybe makes it worse. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be a huge difference, but first off, let's go over some of the features. So it does come with two extra springs um, that are a little thicker depending on the weight of your rig. And then it has these kind of rubber things that fit in the center here that grip onto the handle of your gimbal depending on the gimbal girth. Is that, is that a thing? Get, Depending on your gimbal girth, um, like I have a pretty big gimbal girth, so I needed the smaller rubber insoles to grab onto it. Um, right now I have the Feutech uh, AK2000S in here. It's a really good gimbal. I did a review of that. Check it out right here. Now, you do have some kind of complex adjustment systems here. You have knobs for the tension on these two pivot points right here. And then you also have these two plus and minus knobs which tighten or loosen the fulcrum on the spring and makes the, so if you have a little more weight. Now I think you should, it should be about even when you have this thing rigged up with a camera. But it also comes with this really nice digital photo strap that goes around your neck. Um, when you do have a heavy rig, that thing can come in handy, uh, but it potentially you don't want to keep the weight on it because then your neck weight is pulling on, not your neck weight, your bounce of your shoulders is now going to pull up and down on these handles. So maybe just when you're resting, you put it down. Also, I noticed you want to keep this gimbal tripod on here. If not, you can't really set it down. Um, but Let's throw a camera on here. Let's get outside and do our first test and see how well the DHL4 actually stabilizes the Z axis. All right here it is. I got this big rig. This thing is crazy. It's the Feutech 2000S, and I got the Sony A7 III, a Pico mic on here. I'm using the uh, included straps because this thing's pretty heavy. And I got some stairs here, and I want to do some walking test and see how well it works. I'm just trying to walk naturally. I feel like it's bouncing a lot. Whoa, that was a big step. I wonder if this is making it better or worse. Um, see how much it's bouncing? I don't like that. I feel like it's these uh, this strap around my neck. I don't know if this is... Let me go up these steps. Boop, boop. Here's some more steps. All right, let me try it. Let me try it without these straps. I think I can control it a little bit better. Okay, let's put that down. 
Now, notice I left the tripod on there because that lets me put it down. Um, without that, I wasn't able to put it down. But now I feel like I got a little more control out of it. Um, notice how this thing really can eliminate kind of quick movements on the Z-axis. But let's do a quick walking test trying to keep this thing smooth. Okay, I feel like it, it definitely got rid of that bump. Ooh, and that one, it smoothed that out pretty good. Now I'm gonna try a quick walk back to the house. Let's go, quick walk. I feel like it is taking out a lot of those bumps. Um, we'll check the footage in just a second. Now, um, let's try it with just the gimbal. Loosen this up. And let's use the gimbal by itself. And compare that footage. So now, we're just straight handheld gimbal here. See, that was the big bump there. Okay, now let's do a quick walk back. All right, let's check the footage. Okay, that worked pretty well, but just like I thought, um, this strap kind of did mess me up because when I had that thing around my neck and I'm walking, my shoulders, it didn't allow me to kind of use my hands to help stabilize this. Um, if you get crazy with it, then the camera will bounce off the spring. So you really need to let it kind of do its thing and be natural. I noticed on the bigger step, that it seemed to dampen that big step way better. But I was getting some side to side movement that you saw in the shot. And that's just because I have some kind of tight restrictions on my AK2000S. Um, so it's got kind of some, that, the side to side is not the digital photo, that is my gimbal. So we're only looking at the Z axis on this. But it did seem to eliminate it, but I think we need to do a few more tests. So let's take this thing out, take it downtown. I heard Shad Khan's yacht is downtown. He owns the Jacksonville Jaguars. Gorgeous yacht, it's for sale. I think it's uh, 112 million, so I'll put a link below to that. Um, see what kind of commission I can get off of that yacht. Affiliate link for the yacht in the description. Now, when I was just walking around down by the yacht, uh, it didn't seem to do that much because uh, the A7 III does have IBIS in body image stabilization, and I think that pretty much cuts out most of the Z axis, but I needed to find um, a better scenario. Um, I actually preferred just walking around with the gimbal when I was filming the yacht. I felt a little more free. Having this big rig feels kind of restrictive. Now, you do look super professional. So if you're doing a gig where you're charging money for it and you show up with something like that, they're probably thinking, hey, this guy's a pro. I'm going to get my money's worth. So I went over and I found some steps. I also noticed a slight difference in eliminating the Z-axis when I went up and down those steps. Now, what's really weird is when you're holding this and you're going up the steps, it looks like the camera is bouncing from your perspective. From, a, from someone looking at you, the camera is actually stable, but it felt like 
I was getting horrible footage because the camera was bouncing up and down, but it wasn't. It was me bouncing up and down. Um, you really, really noticed it when I came and I ran down the steps. It eliminated almost, when you do it real fast, it almost eliminated every single um, movement on the Z-axis. So if you're looking for something to make you look more professional, remove that Z-axis movement and add that beautiful cinematic feel to your footage, then the DH-04 is a great option. The DH-04 is not for everybody, and it's not for every shot, but it does deserve a place in your camera bag. But be careful using this thing out in public because you're gonna look like a professional and you may be asked for a filming permit. Okay, that's a quick little video on the DH-04Z Stabilizer by Digital Photo. Uh, like I said, link below. Um, I couldn't find a link for Shad's Yacht. Uh, uh, an affiliate link, but I did put a link down there of an article about it if you'd like to learn more about his beautiful yacht. It's pretty amazing. Um, make sure you guys subscribe. Tune in next week. I got some more products from Digital Photo. We're going to be doing some gorgeous uh, RGB lights from Digital Photo. They have a bunch of stuff on their website. Check them out, and we'll see you guys in the next one. I'm going to go strap this thing on and look goofy out in town. <laughs>